Love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace, and welcome to the only Kingdom Age channel on uh, YouTube. Um, on the internet, as far as that goes, you will never find another Kingdom Age channel. For I am the messenger of our beloved love of the ages, and he is saying to all people of love who has their love moving forward as a little child, regardless of what they believe, it's always been about love, it's not been about believing. Many are going to say, Lord, Lord, and he's going to say, I don't know you, it doesn't matter you believe, <laughs> where's the love? You committed spiritual suicide, he's going to say to many, you let your love of light, your light of love, which was me living in you, go out, for he is love. Those who love are born of God and know him, because he is love. So it's always been about love. So be therefore watchful, discreet, and well instructed, said the Lord, for the ancient enemy has gone about attacking the uh, servants of God, but this can no longer be, because now God is openly given his covenant saying i will be your god you will be my people i will forgive your iniquity i will never remember it sending satan straight to the pit for a thousand years in accordance with daniel 12 1. and all those opposed are like evil scholars uh, they're like a rock uh, that's fallen at the mouth of a brook they will not want this news to get out because the wheat and the tares cannot grow together any longer. The wheat will come with me and the tares will stay uh, for a, a short time. Um, within a time, times and a half a time, three and a half years, religion will be shattered on the planet Earth and it's because of this message. And I've only been preaching a little over one year, so a couple more years to go. And then uh, the strong and mighty one is like Samson, that all of a sudden, it, he was pushing, didn't move, didn't move, but suddenly, the strong and mighty one, line by line, precept by precept, it is written plainly on the tablets, so all those readeth it may run, Habakkuk 2.2. 2. And then... I shall be as a destroying storm to rip down distortional understandings. Uh, and uh, to, to, that is because I have the appointment of Jeremiah in my mouth. 110, Haggai 2.2, 2, God wants to tear down all kingdoms of man's imagination, not built solely on his unconditional love, because there has never been divine love on planet Earth unless it was unconditional. Uh, what glory is conditional love? There is no glory in conditional love. Um, so uh, if, if, if someone's going to be religious blocking the way of the Lord and uh, not wanting him to prepare his own way, uh, they are like, a, 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 like a, a dam. And they can be damned if they're letting their love die. God says, if my people will not embrace that which glorifies my kingdom of love, peace and hope and mercy and all the good stuff, he says, I'll take uh, your leftover shit from your feast that have gone rancid and smush it into faces. What do you think his most passionate message of his whole life was? It was in Gethsemane, praying for our oneness. And that is his message of Malachi 3.1. Proof of that is that he said that he would arise as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man once he sent our unity through Israel, uh, becoming Chrislam, Isaiah 62, 2, their brand new name that they have now received because they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3. All the loving Israelis uh, have inherited all the loving Christians and Islamics. That is why he called them Chrislam. And so uh, when someone blocks the, the, the purposes of God, uh, they don't let anyone drink the water and they won't let any of the Lord's water flow out to the fields. They're gonna block it and they're gonna tell people, ignore it, ignore it, just, it'll go away, just uh, don't listen. Uh, and I've already been attacked by people that are so uh, 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 chicken, they can't even leave me a message. But uh, I'm not going to condemn everyone because I was just as brainless for a long time. But blessed are those who will abandon a, a pleasant pleasure for the sake of a promised reward which is still absent and unseen. And so praise God that people that commit acts of lovelessness, um, whether it be by a day or a night, we become like, like trees that uh, we let our sap 
run out from from our trunks and it's like we're in the state of dying if we love is the like our blood if that starts going the way of the dinosaur we will just become petrified and um, we will become like a dried up old tree before it's time that could never bear any real pleasant fruit and so praise God that uh, our lovelessness can return then let it return from the filth from where it came so filth uh, of unlovingness can go the same way and so if we don't want to lose our beauty, we have to let love, which is God in us, to shine. Do not hide his love within you. And uh, because then we're tearing down his honor. And uh, we will end up sickening our own body if we're walking unloving ways. And because then we're leaning towards evil lusts and uh, we torture ourselves thereby. So know that if the fires are fanned, they shall be ablaze. There's people that get uh, uh, caught up in porn addiction. I've had touch of that. Man, it's like, uh, and take a mile. And people become so addicted to stuff. And thank God I am free. And I, I want freedom for everyone. Because uh, instead, he wants our souls to become a flame with flames that water can never put out. He wants us to be passionate people of love. So therefore, pass not through this world and linger not here too long. And know that the root of every sin is of the love of the world and the lust thereof. So focus your love where it's supposed to be on loving each other. And know that also this world seeks those who seek it. And the world is sought after all those who embrace its lusts. So further, if a person seeks the ne next world of righteousness, and if we do seek first the kingdom of love, which is within our hearts beating, then the unrighteous world will uh, seek us until it can obtain its full substance. It'll chase us uh, if we allow it to the gates of hell, but so will God. He will not let us be lost to him if we will but keep our love alive. And know that if a man seeks this world, the next world will seek him until death comes and takes him by the throat. So don't do it. That is not even a good way to go. I don't recommend it. Don't, not, 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 not.